guys. My black, my black, Mr. Mills. I'm trying to get out of here and hop on one of these motorcycles. So, of course, you know, I got my dress on, the watch on, the bracelet on, the whatever, whatever, who cares? Got the Jordans. Got the house clean from the dirty toed South Little Florida white girl. I have a lot of stuff, so to clean everything, Minty, would be real hard. But, um, damn, what did I want to tell you guys? Oh, every time this song comes on, so I'm sitting here getting ready, I'm listening to music. All of a sudden, I catch David Rawlings, right? Come on, play. Cumberland Gap. He said, I'd rather wrestle Satan. So, every time that song comes on, I think of one person on earth. That's J.D. Walker. You know who you are, dog. That's my best homie, man. We both were very young and very big. J.D. Walker has 12 feet each leg, so when he takes a step, he goes about 35 feet. Me, I had big legs long enough, but I have long arms, long torso. It can hit you from China with that lefty, which is invisible. So I'm in there. I'm the youngest kid in Green Bay Penitentiary in 1988. That's a fact. I'm the youngest. There's nothing else. And, uh... So I had to fight everybody. You know, the white dudes and the black dudes had to get knocked the heck out. <laughs> I almost said it. So, bing. So I finally make it to camp. I finally, you know, they just don't know what to do with me. You know, I'm finally almost 18. Like, we can kick him out. Oh, he'll be 18. We'll kick him out. And they sent me. I got lucky. Well, I got kicked out of there, and I still MR'd out of Green Bay. But they sent me over there for like a few months. I think four, me and J.D. Walker were together. Four or five months. I don't know. He'll make a video, J.D. Walker, and correct me. Uh... So, yeah, with his 6'5 ass. So, uh, they're like, man, we can't give anybody a, a room with you, Mike, because you're track seven. You're aggressive and assaultive, which is not a good thing to have them call you in prison. That means you'll tell them and make them do something, right? So, um, I said, listen, man, who is it? And I seen this big, tall, thin, young kid. Looked really young to me because I looked already old at that age, thanks to my mom. Uh, but no, man, I... Uh, I seen a little kid, real tall, real big, big, big old smile, and he he had that look on his face like, come on, man, don't say no, because he knew if I said no, that was a wrap. Like, if I said, fuck that, this pussy, get him, no, they do, yeah. So I was like, nah, man, let him sit down. I was like, you know what, if you can chill out and keep to yourself, you know, it's like every other stupid movie you've ever seen, you know, don't touch my this, don't touch my that, and I wasn't like, or I'll kill you. You know, he just ended it all with, I'll get to effing you up if you touch any of my stuff. As long as you don't do that and lie and let no one in our house, we're straight. Because this is the crib for right now. And you got to treat it as such. When in prison, this is the crib. So, yeah, I let him come in there. We jailed together. So, therefore, every now and then, whenever I hear the Cumberland Gap, I got a special soft feeling for this kid, J.D. Walker, who is John Ellenbecker. He's my best homie. Um, love him like a brother. His dad loved me back like a son. I know his whole family. So, here's shots out to the Ellenbeckers, man. This one's for you. Here's to John for being a fucking good man. Mike Black, I'm gone.